Hey, what is up guys? It's Ogron 93 here and today's video is going to be an updated deck list of the True King Dinosaur deck. A lot of you love to see my builds, so I will give you an updated list after Battle of Legends, Armageddon and after this Rite of the Duelist. So let's get started. Before we start, subscribe to our channel if you're not already, give a like on the video if you like it, follow me, Ogron 1993 both on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram, follow my competitive Yu-Gi-Oh team, the Omnia players on Instagram, Facebook, Discord and Twitch and download the Yu-Gi-Oh dual calculator application to check your life points. So let's get started from the main deck. This deck is absolutely amazing, 40 cards main deck and let's get started from the big boys. So we got two copies of the Ultimate Conductor Tyranno. This card is a two of in my opinion, it is pretty staple. I don't think you have to play more, you still have the double Evo pickle that, that can be added in a really easy way, so that's fine. The one overtax Coatlos, this card is amazing, I love it because it can recycle back your stuff, which is really really pivotal, and uh, moreover it is able to negate a spell or trap or you can send it through Foolish Burial and or Oviraptor in order to get your pill in another way. The one Dogoran. One is fine since we are going first and same reasoning for the Pancratops also because it is limited of course. I think that these big boys in here are more than enough. For the level 4s we got 3 copies of the Soul Leading Oviraptor, mandatory and nothing to say about this. It is Foolish Burial, Rota and this card is nonsense. Then 3 copies of the Miscellanosaurus, this card also is absolutely incredible being able to uh, banish this in order to go into your Juraka Yolo or into the Arcosaurus which is uh, another great starter apart from the Oviraptor is amazing and then last but not least for level 4s we got the one copy of the Giant Rex you can recycle this a lot of times it is really, really important for the deck then two copies of the uh, Animador Arcosaurus uh, I saw a lot of people playing this uh, at one some other people playing this at 3, I think that 2 is fine, you can also cut to 1 actually because you don't want to see this in your hand, you just want to special summon it through uh, your Miscellanosaurus basically and this card is amazing also in the artwork, I love it, so important the fact that it is a level 1, also for a crazy combo that I will show you in a different video. Then for the babies we got 3 copies of baby Cerosaurus, this is the one you want to maximize on since it is the best one because it is able to bring out another copy of himself and then two copies of the Petit Tyranodon. You don't want to maximize on this, uh, some players are running like one copy of the Petit Tyranodon, it is super fine, I don't think you have to play three most importantly. And then last but not least for the last uh, baby card we got the one Juraka Yolo. This card is so important because it can be brought out by the uh, Miscellanosaurus or through the Baby Cerosaurus as well and allows you to go in a really easy Alkifabrax play. Then for the True King package we got the one Lithosagium, this card is so strong, nonsense, and two copies of Agnimazud. You can also max out the Agnimazud as well, maybe if you're running the one Arcosaurus instead of two it is a better choice to go and play three copies of Agnimazud but it, was, it is not as uh, required as it was before. Then, for the other cards we got the one Caligo Crow. this card is one of the best extenders. Once again, if you don't know what this card does, basically if you got a, a Dark Monster on your side of the field, you can special summon this card for, for free, and it is a Winged Beast level 2, meaning that if you pop a Baby Sarosaurus with your Arcosaurus, you can add this one as well. And I don't know you, but I always start with one copy of Double Evil Peel in my hand, so in those scenarios you want to add this. This pill is once per turn, you don't need multiple copies in your hand, so you are gonna add this and it is a cool extender that can lead you to an extra play like a Mascarina play or a Lambda play. Then for the tuners we got the one Mecha Phantom Beast of Lion, which is actually not necessary, not 100% necessary and I will show you this in the video of the combo that I will do maybe next week, in the one Jet Synchron. So uh, remember the fact that you can also cut this if you want because it is not strictly necessary but it is such a strong tuner being able to replace itself and just Synchron is the best tuner available in the game ATM. And then last but not least for the only hand traps I'm running in the main deck, 3 copies of Gamma and the one 
uh, lone driver of course this card is absolutely uh, pivotal in this meta game especially because of numeron so this is one of the uh, few ways you got to stop the s0 from triggering and making you lose one turn and then in this deck in particular it is pretty important since we have a lot of powerful spell cards meaning that we can use these also in our own turn maybe to stop cards like ash blossom and joy spring and playing the lambda it means that you can uh, play this also in the opponent's turn even if you got monsters on the field so it actually doesn't matter then for the spell cards we got three copies of fossil dig rota for the deck then the one of forming alongside with the one the chronic diagram you can also cast the terraforming i know that it is a little bit risky because it's a 50 50 50 and if you draw both of them it can be bad but you have the just synchron that can discard this or the nightmares in your extra deck so i think that is worth the risk because if you go into diagram and add the little zajim uh, you are pretty good to go then the one double uh the two copies sorry of double evil pill this card is super strong super necessary and can be added through the Arcosaurus or through the Overtaxi if you decide to run that. Then uh, the one Foolish Burial and two copies of Call by the Grave. I don't want to max out on Call by the Grave since it is actually an extra brick for a combo deck as you know, but you want your Miscellanosaurus to go through and you don't want an Ash Blossom to block the Miscellanosaurus from the graveyard since even if you activate Miscellanosaurus, only the monsters on your side of the field will be uh, unaffected by the other effects so if they ash blossom your miss in your graveyard you need a call by the grave only two is fine because you got three copies of miscellanosaurus that can stop other hand traps also including the uh, nibiru something that call by the grave cannot stop of course any one foolish burial i think it is pretty cool of a card i don't see a lot of player players running this but it is really, really strong and recommended in my opinion because you can send a lot of combo pieces like giant rex or miscellanosaurus if you need then uh, before the extra deck showing showing some tokens okay still needing the third plane in here uh, yeah we got just a few tokens but <laughs> they are more and more necessary <laughs> then for the extra deck for the synchros we got the one formula synchron for the combo i was talking about it is a cool combo in which you can draw four cards and then go into your true king of all calamities that will shut down the opponent then the one Crocosaurus Arcades that will allow you to draw a lot of cards in this deck. Then the one Trishula for the last Synchro, which is paired now finally with the other Trishula, the Trishula Fusion, which is finally legal here in Europe. I know that in North America, Canada, they already had this, but for the European players, this is an absolutely brand new card playable from the Battle of Legends Armageddon, as you can see. Basically, this is a level nine, that can hit the field just by banishing three monsters with different names from the side of the field and uh, this allows you basically to have an extra level nine on the field that you can overlay on in order to go into your true king of all calamities that basically uh, the reason why you're gonna play this and it is really cool of a card and it is so important since he's able to turbo out the true king of all calamities then for the xyz monsters we got a lot of rank fours in the form of abyss dweller which is one of the strongest uh, always the one number 60 dugaris the one dolka and the one lagia there is not so much to say about this and then for the only rank nine we got the one true king of all calamities which is uh, still one of the best boss monsters of the game at least coming from the extra deck this card is absolutely gorgeous and then for the link monsters we got the one uh, Link Rebo, which is pretty cool. Sometimes it's needed because you can turn your Arcosaurus into Link Rebo, then link away the Link Rebo, maybe into a Link 2. So you got the fodder to activate your pill. I don't think it is uh, super required to have the secure guard now because you can link the Link Rebo away for other Link 2s, so it is fine. Then the one, okay, Firebrax, best card of the metagame. The one Lambda, this card is so strong, especially now that Gamma, it is so required. The one IP Mascarina, super strong of an interruption because you can go into your unicorn and then last but not least the one mecha phantom based aurora dawn so you can cut of course the lambda and uh, maybe the mascarina if you want to play something like borlod or borsward and stuff like that but it is really hard for this deck to go 
into a link for especially for the fact that some, a lot of times you don't even need to go into your Borlo or Boros Ward because you have the Ultimate Conductor Tyranno that basically does the same job and sometimes is even better. Then for the side deck we got three copies of the Nibiru the Primal Bing. This card is so required in this meta game. Everyone is combo off thanks to Needle Fiber. So you want to play it. Then for spell cards I'm running the one set rotation alongside with two copies of Mystic Mine because uh, the deck is going first so you need a lot of cards in your side deck that allow you to go second. So I think the Mystic Mine is it, it is pretty pretty important especially paired with Dark Ruler no more. You can shut down the game there and with the addition of the set rotation you can also add the Mystic Mine in the easiest way or if you need the diagram you can go into it easier. Then two copies of Cosmic Cyclone, you can play also three, you can play also the Lightning Stores if you have them. Then three copies of Dark Ruler No More, as I said before, this card is so required to shut down all the opponent's big boards and it is so strong in this deck specifically because when you shut down everything then you can just play your own cards, your own strategies and then go into Ultimate Conductor Tyranno and destroy everything and set up your board and the opponent cannot go over that anymore. And then last but not least for the trap cards, three copies of DD Ground and one red reboot. This is kind of like mandatory for me now. I'm playing these four trap cards package in every deck because I think that this is one of the best cards you want to play if you're going first since all the decks are so uh, reliant on the graveyard. So that's it for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think about this deck profile if you think that the uh, synchro variant it is better than the uh, maybe barrier statue variant or uh, you can play really a lot of variants of dinos now you can play also the uh, once again the barrier statue the you can play the buster locks mm, dinos then you can play also shadow dinos there are really a lot of ways but i still think that true king dinos with the synchro package it is the best solution so that's it for today, I really hope you enjoyed this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, give a like on the video if you like it, follow me Okran1993 on YouTube, Facebook and Instagram, follow my competitive Yu-Gi-Oh team, the Omnia players on Instagram, Facebook, Discord and Twitch and download the Yu-Gi-Oh Dual Calculator application to check your life points and see you in the next one.